Hello everybody, I'm Kathy Wrightson. I teach at Shelby County High School and I help coordinate the gifted program there. So, this afternoon I was invited by Cindy Powell Skelly, who teaches our AP US History classes, to come in and sit in on an oral history project. The focus of the project was for students to interview members of our own community, African American members of our own community, who are probably in their mid-60s, late 60s, up, and we had one I think was close to 80, maybe even over 80, and ask them questions about what, would, what did it feel like to experience discrimination? What did it feel like to experience a Jim Crow law? What, did, what was that like? What was your education like? So the students generated their own questions and understanding that these questions are coming from 17-year-olds who really did not have the body of experience that an adult would have. They're, they were innocent questions, but they were power-packed with how far the responder could go with his response. And so I had the pleasure of being in the room with Roland Dale and five history students. And um, one of the questions was, so talk to us about your educational experience. And here's how, what Roland Dale responded. Well, I went to a school that was built on a dump. And all my life, all my school life, I thought all schoolyards had rock and dirt and bits of glass and trash. I didn't realize that some schoolyards had grass. And from that moment on, the rest of that afternoon, he had the kids. They were riveted. The pro the, his, his discussions with them, his personal stories, his details, he had them. They, it was a, a marvelous experience. That was just one of many that happened. So this morning I was there and um, I stopped by the library to listen in on uh, some of the conversation and um, so I saw Miss Coleman, she was speaking to, to some kids and one of the questions um, that they were talking about, she was talking about her and her best friend. Her best friend was white and they decided, um, I just remember them talking about this this morning that what whatever happened uh, to them, no matter what anybody said or did, that they would forever be friends and nobody could, could take that away from them. And one of the other things they were talking about, one of the questions they asked was, what about all the other races? Were they discriminated against? Did they have different schools? And she, she told them there weren't other races at that point. There were just black and white. And so that was really eye-opening for them because they have uh, so many uh, different cultures and things they interact with and people don't uh, all look the same. And so that was a very interesting thing for them and to see their reaction to that was uh, really cool and relevant for them. Ms. Webb, did you have anything you wanted to add? Listening um, to the stories and the adults that were sharing with them and the students were very, very nervous because they were afraid to offend because some of the questions that they were going to ask they knew it might be difficult or they didn't know quite how to ask them. I said, guys, they know they're black and they know you're white and they know why they're here. So please ask because this is an opportunity that you're not going to get again. And um, the adults that came, Ms. Jackson was one of them, were so open to whatever the students wanted to ask. And when they came out of there, I felt like the adults, and I'm speaking for you, enjoyed themselves as much as our students did because it was a chance for them to tell their stories and it was a chance for them to reminisce a bit. I had to sometimes pull them apart so they could come talk to our students because they enjoyed being together so much. But for our students to come into contact with people they never, or more than likely maybe, would have never come into contact with otherwise was so incredibly, I got weepy. I get weepy every time I think about some of the stories that they got to hear. Um, their football coaches, two of them were their football coaches, and they didn't know things about them that they know now, and that was so incredibly powerful. And how that fits into globally effective students, one of the questions we have is about making learning relevant and making it make sense. They, kids want it to make sense to them, and so the relevancy comes from these people who came to speak to them are from our community, and they were able to learn about what um, it was like in our community and relate that to what they're learning in their classroom about national things that were going on at the same time and what that felt like here in our community.